Welcome to CJDIY. I am C and if you love farmhouse, you're going to love this video. I selected my favorite 25 farmhouse decor ideas that you can add in your kitchen. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Got this wooden plaque from Hobby Lobby. I painted white and now I'm just putting a line tape on the side so we can paint it out. I just put one and then another on the other side and then I put two more on each side of that tape so we can make a stripe like a one stripe on each side now I'm removing the middle painters tape and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side before I paint them out now I'm painting it with a black apple barrel paint on both sides of my stripes simple and i'm just removing the tape just to get that straight line on each side of my sign just like that and now we're moving into the next step i'm adding this beautiful stencil from a makers and i'm just layering it on the middle and i'm just applying a black apple barrel paint as well with a sponge going all over until it's all fully covered and that's it now I'm using a Dollar Tree stencil with the extra design I'm also adding a black paint to cover the whole stencil and get that beautiful extra detail on my sign and I'm really loving it so far how it came out super cute you can be super creative with all those stencils and all those variety that we have I am really loving it and I did it on the other side and now I'm just making a shoelace bow just a simple small bow this ribbon is also from Dollar Tree and I'm adding uh, extra greeneries on top those greeneries are also from Dollar Tree and I'm gluing the bow on top and I'm adding a handle on the back and that's it for this DIY and we made amazing decorative piece for our kitchen. Lazy Susan board and I'm using a farm to table stencil that I got from Michaels and I'm applying a black apple barrel paint and look how cute it looks already. Next I'm using this Rabon transfer stickers from Dollar Tree and I'm just putting those two leaves on the side just for extra detail I'm using the scraper so to apply that leaf super easy on both sides I want to make sure it's all clear and clean before I apply a dishwasher safe Mod Podge and not just like a decorative piece you can use it to serve your food with it in those amazing cups with lots of appetizers and voila you have amazing kitchen decor another charcuterie board also from my local store and this time i'm using a rabbon transfer stickers from dollar tree as well and i'm just using my roller make sure they're all on place before i apply on them and I'm just using my scraper and going all over those wording and all that design and my board is gonna look super cute just removing it and look how cute next this board is from Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna use it for a decorative piece I'm just removing those push pins on the side I painted out with a white paint first and then I'm adding a extra black paint on top apple barrel paint before I apply some stencil on and now when it's dry I'm adding this chic stencil that I used before I'm applying a chalk paint on top super easy with a sponge and look how cute and on top I'm adding that yum word and that's it for this DIY and it's gonna be super decorative piece for our kitchen I am really loving it I'm putting the push pins back 
I like that detail. I'm also using a smaller board, also from Dollar Tree. I'm painting it with a white paint on both sides. Super cute using it as a decorative piece and also i'm using a rabon transfer stickers as well from dollar tree i am loving these rabon transfer stickers it took me a while because they're so hard to put them on when there is a paint on but it came out perfectly good i'm adding some leaves on top and i'm adding that family word on top with that rabon transfer stickers I'm just removing it, make sure they're all in place, just like so. Super cute, farmhouse style. And on the bottom, I'm adding this mesh ribbon, also from Dollar Tree. I really like the decorative piece on this board as well. So I just glue it on the back, just to get that extra different detail on my boards. And on top, I'm just rolling a couple of layers of twine. And I'm just going to tie a shoelace ball. And that's it for this DIY. this house sign plaque from target i only paid 10 cents for it and i wish i could have bought more i'm sending it well before i paint it out make sure there is all smooth before i cover that whole thing and now i'm applying a white chalk paint to covering the whole sign simple as that and now i'm figuring out what i'm gonna put in this sign First, I added this galvanized home sign on top of the sign and I really like it how it came out. Next, I covered the holes of those two chickies with a glue and I'm sending them out and now I'm just painting them with black apple barrel paint, just a little bit. They're not like a fully covered. I made one lighter and the other one darker color. I'm adding this chicken wire ribbon I got it from Hobby Lobby a long time ago in the middle and on top I'm gonna glue my two chickies Mr. and Mrs. Rooster and on top we're gonna add some greeneries also these greeneries are from Dollar Tree on top of that home garland ribbon I want to make sure they're all nice and glued before I add the checkerboard bowl simple shoelace bow and that's it with this sign this sign is from dollar tree and those stencils are from michael's and i only pay five dollars for them and now i'm just gonna layer the farmhouse family one by one and i'm just gonna apply a black apple barrel paint as well with that galvanized background it's gonna look perfect super simple and easy and very high-end sign mrs piggy mr cow and mrs rooster on top on top of them, I'm going to put, because they have so much fun, I'm putting a fun Rabon transfer from Dollar Tree and I'm going to add some greeneries as well. And all these things are from Dollar Tree. Look how high end it looks. Can you believe this? I'm really loving it that I found them finally. It took me forever until I found those Rabon transfer stickers. And simple as that. I'm just removing the top portion on it and that's it on the side of course nothing without the farmhouse ribbon also from dollar tree on this time 
I put four loops and I'm also adding a greeneries and simple as that my sign is done. I'm using three plaques from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna just paint them light with a white paint just to cover that and I'm gonna use this beautiful tissue paper that I purchased long time. I cut the sheet on three pieces and it's gonna be three signs out of those sheets. I added a patch and I'm just going slowly with the tissue. I just love to decoupage and I don't have any problem with it I know a lot of people complain how they do it with the Mod Podge, they have all those air bubbles, but I never had any problem. I just doing slowly with a lot of Mod Podge and I'm just going layer by layer and with the roller and my signs are coming out just perfect. No air bubbles, nothing. Super simple and easy, beautiful high-end sign those decoupage sheets i got from my victorian heart and they have a plenty of decoupage design in there you guys gotta check it out i'm really loving it now to remove the edges i'm just using a lighter to get that rustic vibe on it super cute and that's it on top also another cute farmhouse bowl I repeated the same steps on my other two signs and put them all together. I This one I left it plain, on my other one I added a bow and here how they look together. I got those signs from my calendar. I have those calendars in my collections and now I'm just using one of those Dollar Tree flags that I removed the frames out first. And I'm just gonna measure it and I'm gonna cut out my calendar sign, truck sign, because nothing without a truck for a farmhouse decorations. What do you think? I'm really loving those trucks and i just want to measure before i cut it out now i'm using a mud patch you can also use a glue because this calendar sheet is so thick but i use a mud patch just to get that safe and it's all fully sticky on my plaque and now i'm just gonna glue the frame pieces back and that's it for this DIY. Super cute farmhouse high-end look. I'm adding the beaded handle back that it came out together from the sign. And that's it for this DIY. I'm covering it with a mud patch to seal it well. And done. I repeated the same step with this cheeky and the same kind of sign from Dollar Tree and make them as a perfect decorative pieces for a kitchen area. Such a inexpensive decorative pieces that you can make for less than five minutes and it's gonna be based on your taste. Not just a farmhouse, any kind of taste. You can create beautiful signs out of calendar pages. one of those white trays from Dollar Tree I painted black and I'm going through my calendar rooster calendar that I got it last year I made some cute projects with them and now I just want to add a cute rooster inside of the tray and as I'm going through the pages I think this purple blue 
Mr. Rooster, it will be just perfect for my tray. With a marker, I went around the calendar and cut her off the round shape to fit inside of my tray. Now I just wanted to see if it fits okay before I glue it. I'm just adding just a simple paper glue, crafting glue, and with a brush, sponge brush, I'm just going around. I didn't add Mud Patch to glue it because these calendar sheets are so thick. So we don't need no Mud Patch. Just adding this crafting paper glue, it's gonna do its job. All I did is just, I added the calendar sheet and with the roller, I just go around and make sure it's all nice and smooth. And we're gonna seal it with a mud patch on top and that's it for this DIY. Super cute and quick and easy DIY. And I like how adding this dark black chalk paint brings so much more high-end look better than the white one and let me know what do you think grab those glass frames from dollar tree i think they're new i haven't seen them before i removed the middle part and now i'm just removing the border in the middle on the glass all i need to is just that mini cutter that i got from the auto section from dollar tree and it's just removing this so smoothly you don't need no alcohol or anything else with this you're gonna get it all removed I'm going to be using six of those frames. I also removed the handle that it's coming on the back of it. And after that, I'm going to clean it well with alcohol. Make sure there is no black dots left. And that's it. And now I'm going to try to make a glass house, garden glass house. So I'm connecting them just to see how I'm going to glue them. And I would highly recommend to use E6000. This time I'm using a hot Gorilla Glue, but to have a stronger and sturdy look, you will need a E6000 glue. So I'm just going around the edges and adding frame by frame so I can make a square shape, if that makes sense. Now that the first part is done, I'm adding the second frame on the other corner, just like so. I'm adding the glue first. Now that I got the two sides glued, all I'm going to do is I'm going to add the fourth part on top of them, just like so. I'm gonna leave those on the side and then next we're gonna work on the roof. For the roof, I'm just gluing one corner from one frame to the other corner of the other frame. Simple as that. And you can add this roof on top of the glass house. I also glue it on the corners so it can be more sturdy and that's it super simple and quick and easy home decor let me know what do you think using this mason jar that i got from dollar tree i'm gonna be adding some chalk paint 
This ivory chalk paint is purchased from Loves from clearance rack. I only paid $2 for it. And what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to cover my mason jar with it. I think I only give it one good coat of it and I'm going to let it dry. And now that it's all nice and dry, I'm just going to send it out just a little bit so we can have all those details on this mason jar and get that vintage farmhouse look out of it. Now that I got the look from the sanding, I'm also going to stain my jar with this wood stain from, I got it, I believe it's from Loaves or from my local store a long time ago and it works just perfect, just giving a little bit of rustic vintage look to it. And also I'm going to be adding this beaded garland from Dollar Tree. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to reconstruct it a little bit because it's a little bit larger. I'm going to cut off the twine on the back of it and I'm going to remove the beads so I can get those two buffalo beads up front and add the rest of them on the back. Now that I got the look that I like, finally, I'm going to tie the twine on the back. And that's it for this quick and easy farmhouse decor. I'm going to be adding this lavender or lilac floral, fall floral, inside of it. And that's it. I found this 10 by 15 signs from Hobby Lobby, 75% clearance for $4 and some change. And I want to do some makeover on them. After I removed the cardboard around the frame, first I thought I'm going to paint them, but then I thought, let me experiment something else. I have this linen fabric in my stash. So I just go over and see if I stretch this out and glue it on top of the sign, if all that writings and decor is going to be covered so as you can see i'm going to use a cement glue going around the edges around the frames and in the middle and then with a sponge brush i'm just going to spread over the glue and i'm going to glue this linen fabric on top of my signs I'm using my decoupage brayer just to smooth it out the fabric because I didn't iron it and I, I like my fabric to be iron and nice and smooth but with the brayer it helped to be nicer and smoother now with my mini cutter from Dollar Tree I'm going around the edges of the fabric and I'm just cutting off the extra material of my fabric I was so happy that I didn't need it to use any paint and this fabric cover all of it. And then by the time I finish this DIY, it's going to look like those signs were originally made like that. So have another sign, same size, and I did the same thing. And now I'm going to be adding this beautiful redesign with Prima transfers. Yes transfers no decoupage but this is a transfer sheet and look at all those beautiful details on it i'm gonna have the link from those transfer in my description box if you like to purchase them and even if they're a little bit expensive but they're worth it because we can make so many projects with them and then 
dividing them it's only gonna cost us just a couple of dollars so for the first one i just transferred the general store farm fresh rooster sign now i'm gonna work with the one with the cow sign all i did is i just cut off the edges because this sign was just a little bit longer on the edges before i transfer it on my second sign and super simple as that we're gonna have a nice beautiful farmhouse decor and we didn't need to decoupage this we just do a simple not even five minute transfer and it looks so so high end let me know what do you think when we are doing decoupage we need to worry about bubbles and all that when you're doing transfers you don't need to worry about none of that and i love all those details that those transfers have and now with the scraper i'm just going on top of the transfer and i'm just removing it nice and smoother to know that the transfer work you're gonna see a loosen up the top and soon as one corner start loosen up you can just slowly move it up to top and the transfer is gonna stay on your sign and here you go super beautiful look i'm doing the same thing on my second sign and with the scraper i'm just going around the edges so i can loosen up the the corner and soon as i loosen up the corner that's it the rest of the transfer is gonna go nice and smoothly so we don't need to work too hard on it until the whole transfer is on and the goodness for the transfers are that you can not only use them on the signs you can also use them on a the furniture you can use them in any kind of decor you like now as you can see i have more extra around the edges but i just cut them off with the cutter and i send them out so i made it look more like a rustic worn out and here you go i just love this look I'm in love with them. If you like to seal them, you can always add a mud patch to seal this look, but nothing else. I'm gonna be creating farmhouse bookends. I got these oval wooden plaques from Dollar Tree. I got those scrap woods from my stack, and all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna glue them with the wood glue. And to speed up the gluing, I also gonna add the hot glue and we're gonna have a nice farmhouse book and looks that we can add our cooking books or we can just put it in our shelf as a decor i'll show you how easy i made this to add that farmhouse vibe in it i'm gonna be adding those farmhouse chick and cow cutouts from dollar tree i removed their stand and all i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna glue them on my oval plaques but before that i need to glue the second bookends i just wanted to see that if the cow is gonna fit because the chicken is a little bit smaller but the cow was a little bit wider and i wanted to make sure it's all fitting but this time i needed the other side of my cow and to get that rustic look i didn't paint it black i just wanted a different look so i just add a diy black wax with it and i wax it and for my rooster i'm gonna be adding those rabon transfers that i got them on clearance online for like a dollar and some change and just to add that little bit of look of it, I'm just gonna add that before I glue it to my bookends. You don't need to use specifically those transfers. Dollar Tree also is selling amazing transfers, so you can add any kind of transfers or you can add some stencils on that. I mean, everybody have a different taste. For my cow, I added a different transfer design in the middle. I, it was so hard to transfer it because the wax is kind of sticky but finally i succeeded and now before i glue my animals to my stands i just added antique wax with the water and so we can just darken our wooden look and i'm just going with the sponge brush around and after that i'm just gonna wipe it off with a wipe and look at all those beautiful details on the wood i just love all those beautiful wooden details on it and their rustic look and now i'm just gonna glue my rooster or my chicky and my cow 
on my bookends and we have a nice unique farmhouse bookends decor you gotta let me know what do you think and if you like this i wish those animal cutouts were a little bit thicker i went to hobby lobby to search for them but i couldn't find any so but still those dollar tree worked perfect at the end let me know what do you think also for extra embellishment i wanted to add some greeneries on the bottom and i just add those eucalyptus with the berries just two branches and just adding that little bit of detail you just bring that natural farmhouse outdoor look another simple diy from dollar tree i got this wood round frame from dollar tree i'm gonna be using this chicken wire to cover it and i'm just cutting it with the scissor i got this chicken wire from amazon from 9.99 i believe but there's so many creations that you can make with it and now with my staple gun i'm just making my wire nice and sturdy and smooth around my frame and after it's all done i'm just gonna cut off with my scissors you gotta be really careful so you don't have any cutting on your fingers and nice and smoothly we're gonna make another beautiful farmhouse decor i'm adding another cheeky cut out from dollar tree i just removed the stand and now i'm gonna glue it in the middle of my chicken wire sign super simple and easy diy i just want to see where i'm gonna glue it before i add the cement glue i like to work with this dollar tree cement glue it's so nice and sturdy and beautiful and very easy and now i'm adding another transfer from those transfers that i got in my stash and we got beautiful look super cute what do you think i am also adding some greeneries i'm gonna be adding those green leaves from dollar tree i'm just gonna cut off the branches on the bottom and i'm gonna glue them and that's it i didn't want it to add any bows or any ribbons to it i just wanted to leave that primitive look farmhouse rustic look to it so that's why i didn't wanted to add any ribbons to it and i got so many ribbons but this time i just wanted to leave the simplicity and the beautiness of a rustic primitive farmhouse look and let me know what do you think i mean everybody have a different taste if you like you can add some bows on it and that's it and also around the edges i'm just gonna be adding white diy wax to make it more rustic worn out look and for the round frame i'm gonna be adding a black diy wax just to get that rustic look and super simple and easy not even five minute diy and i think it looks super super cute Here I am at Dollar Tree. I saw these new wired baskets and I grabbed two of them. I think they're new. I think they had the golden version, but I never saw those black versions. So I grabbed two of them because I wasn't sure which one I'm gonna be using. At the end, I decide the round one so I can make that rustic egg basket. I'm gonna be adding patina effect with my pastes. I got those pastes long time ago and I really love that worn out outdoor rustic look and I, all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try to bring that worn out rustic patina look on my basket and with a sponge brush i'm just going and covering the whole wiring in this basket and this basket already looks so old and rustic and worn out i just love it inside i'm gonna be adding this burlap fabric that i got from dollar tree doesn't need to be perfect all i need to do is just add a fabric so we can add some decorative eggs to it so all i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna glue 
around the top frame so the material can stand sturdy and that's it super simple and quick primitive rustic farmhouse look to hold our eggs some people say and it's just a people opinion that doesn't mean everybody thinks like that they think that the farmhouse is out of trending this year which i don't believe to me farmhouse it's always going to be trending because it's such a beautiful natural family look that anybody can love but you never know everybody have a different taste let me know do you like farmhouse or you prefer another decor team now that i glued the edges of my fabric i added some moss and i added some faux eggs on top of that and also for extra embellishment around the edges of my basket i'm gonna be adding this burlap fringe ribbon so we can add that extra look to it and mix of burlap with a natural look color and that's it i just love this basket it looks so beautiful you can leave it in your kitchen and just add some fresh eggs to it nothing wrong with it and it's gonna look super beautiful in your kitchen decor as well where the eggs are here is the milk too cow milk right <laughs> i got this cute rustic bucket from hobby lobby from seven dollars and some change and i just want to make it like a milk jug with a makeover i'm going to be adding this h2o redesigned with prima transfers and see how it's going to work i'm not going to be adding all of those but i just like to add some borders to my bucket now that i cut off the frame i'm gonna be adding it on top of my jug and see how it's gonna work this h2o transfer i use those h2o transfers on one of my pots on my other videos i'm gonna have a link of the playlist from all my creations if you like to see my other creations as well in my description box and I wanted to see this time how it's gonna work with a different design. All I did is I just gonna sprinkle a water a little bit, and then I'm gonna add my border. Make I wanna make sure it's all nice and wet. Also adding a wipe to it, make it nice and wetty before I add the border to it. And you can use those transfers, H2O transfers on furniture or anything you like. Same thing like the transfers, except those are working with the water. We don't need to scrape them off. We just need to sprinkle some water and make the surface wet. And then just adding the paper on top of that. And then with the wipe, I'm just going to dab it off until the whole transfer will be add it to my jug and look how simple and easy it is that's it and look how beautiful it looks what do you think i really love this little detail to it you can add as much as designs as you like on your decor and make it look very high end now i'm gonna be adding another redesign with prima and i only cut out one of those black and white cows and i'm gonna be adding it in the middle of my jug just want to cut off the whole edges with it and super simple we're gonna add it in the middle of our bucket and we want to have a nice beautiful milk decorative jug right it's so so cute now that i got the cow in the middle something else is missing and i'm gonna look from the same cutout. i'm gonna be adding these farm leathers on the bottom of my bucket and i think that's gonna be the complete finished look to this beautiful farmhouse bucket as well 
and simple as that i cut off the letters and i'm just gonna transfer those as well and adding this color to the white and the rustic galvanized look with the black and white border and the cow i think it looks super cute I'm also going to be adding another H2O flower transfer beside my cow and I think it's going to look super cute. I did the same process like I did with my border on top, sprinkle with the water and then dabbing it with a wipe and the flower transfer is on my bucket. Super simple and beautiful rustic look. Let me know what do you think and if you like all that mixture of colors and now all I'm gonna do is just adding some branch of greenery that I got on clearance from Joanne and that's it our milk jug is done and now to complete a farmhouse look also we're gonna need a windmill and I found this wooden windmill at Joanne's on clearance for like three dollars i believe all i did is i added a water a tiki wax for extra embellishments i'm gonna be adding those leaf cutouts from dollar tree and more of those transfers that i've been using in this video this one it looks like a door handle so i added that on top and then i also added those leaf cutouts on the side of my windmill just to add a little bit of natural and extra embellishment to it and I'm just gonna add two leaves on the side and I think this look with the antique wax and those leaves it just brings such a beautiful farmhouse look to my windmill also I added those borders from my transfers and I'm gonna be adding another flower on the bottom and that's it not even five minutes but I think this windmill looks super beautiful this stained wooden sign that i got it on clearance at michael's for five dollars i think i even pay less than that because i had some rewards coupon to it and all i did is i add another redesign with prima transfer with this beautiful cow milk where the two gallons are for 25 cents each <laughs> and remember we're selling milk too and now after I transfer them to match the borders of those wooden planks on my sign, I just went with my cutting knife just to make that borders so simple. And I just send it out with my sander and that's it. I got these hexagon shadow boxes from Michaels for 99 cents each. So I'm trying to just uh, remove all the items they have on the back. When all that is done, I got this uh, round uh, wooden uh, plaque and I'm adding those wooden beads and I'm gonna put them on top of the hexagon shadow box. What I'm planning to do is make a uh, beautiful wooden lanterns. So I'm doing it for two of them, the same thing, round plaque beads and now I got these wooden sticks from Dollar Tree I'm cutting them the same sizes and now I'm trying to see which way they're gonna look good now I'm gluing them on four corners on top and on the bottom now as a handle I'm using these wooden snakes from Dollar Tree I cut half of it, not a half, just a little bit, and one bead on top. When all that is done, I'm trying to make axes on the bottom of the shadow boxes. I wanna use my hot wooden tool so I can make some designs on it. And the easiest way is just to use this metal rule because this wooden tool can get really hot. And uh, when I try to engrave some design on the wood, it's not going to let me. So it's the easier way is to use the ruler. And I am making the same design on each side so we can have some extra texture on this lantern. And I'm going to do the same thing on my second lantern as well. I did the same thing on top and on the bottom. And then on top of my lantern, I made some dots 
for extra details also i'm going to be adding some dots on the beads that i added so i'm going to stain those lanterns with antique wax and here you go you got amazing decorative pieces that you can add in your kitchen area or any kind of area in your house for every season that you like this is a thrift flip i got this it kind of looked like a basket and i find out it's each plate holder so i after i clean it well and sand it i'm adding plaster chalk paint then to cover those holes i'm adding a little bit of spackling now that it's dry i'm gonna do a reversible stenciling with these letters from dollar tree i am adding farm and with that i'm gonna just distress it with a brush and with a black apple barrel paint going heavier around the letters and then around the edges and all over this plate holder now that i got this dressing that i like i'm slowly with a weaving tool i'm removing the letters and also i'm gonna add some two stripes on top and on the bottom with a painting tape and we're gonna add some greeneries and that's it for this last kitchen area idea i hope i gave you tons of inspirations and if you're still here you're amazing thank you so much for watching my video and my darlings next week we are starting with our new adventures and amazing home decor ideas and until next time i'm sending you lots of love lots of music positive energy blessings from me to you bye bye